What's up, YouTube? We back with another video, right? That's right. We're back with another video. Finally, we back at the shop. Today's a very exciting day. And you know why, Tanya, today's a very exciting day? Why? Because we are finally picking up the Tudor Tahoe. Finally, after, what, about a year or two years? Nah, not that long, bro. Yeah. It's because Roman had to do a whole change on it. He had to redo the whole bag system, rewire it, do a whole complete makeover on it. But now, it's going to be riding even cleaner. We did some more upgrades to it. We're also going to be testing out the 2022. What is it, 21 or 22? What is the four? 22, bro. 22? We got to go buy a hitch for it, too. We got to go buy a hitch because I fucked up. I forgot the Denali. I left the Denali at home, and the Denali has the hitch. This truck doesn't have a hitch, so we're going to go be buying a hitch today because we are hooking up the trailer. Like I said, we are picking up the Tudor Tahoe. We backed the truck. We also put big brakes. That's right. Big brakes. Big brakes. So it's going to look a lot cleaner now. This truck did not come with the hitch. Luckily, there's a hitch place around the corner. We're going to go buy a hitch for this truck so we can hook up to a trailer, head out to Roman, and pick up the Tudor Tahoe. So we right? might have a little problem, though. We're not going to fit in here. We got so many rides. We I don't know if we're going to fit in here. Right? Look, we're going to pick up that Tahoe. We're going to take it to a pay shop. So it's like we're not going to have the Tahoe. Here. Oh, we're Nah. nah, we're just we're gonna paint it. Remember, we're not gonna leave it like color. I don't know yet. You guys choose the color. What color? What color are you thinking? I was thinking either purple, green, not green, pink, 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 blue, or red. Drop down on the comment section down below what color you think we should pick. Yeah. Out of those colors, which one do you think we should do on the Tahoe? We want to do something exotic, something different, something just out this world because we're gonna set some trends. So we do want to paint that truck a different color. Currently, it's a white truck. It's not too bad. I like the white, but I want to, you know, I want to give that little extra kick to that truck because it's back down, has nice wheels, big brakes and everything. So we gotta, we gotta spice it up. Yeah. yeah. But first we gotta go get the hitch. So let's go. Let's go. Why do these always so bouncy, bro? Just, I don't know, especially this one's the 450, so it has a stiffer suspension to haul more, you know? But it's not that stiff, though. It feels like the 350 to me. It feels the same one as uh, the other one, the Denali. The seats are a lot comfortable, though. Yeah, the seats and are this comfortable. One, this one has like the little massages and shit. Really? It's somewhere over here. Passenger, massage. Let me start feeling something. Oh. Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> I feel something on my ass. Oh, that's nice. I think I think most of the Fords come like that, but they do have seat massage and shit. They, they got the circulation lower, upper, relax, or the full recovery. The full recovery, I, I think it gives you like everything from top to bottom, all the way to the top. You know what I mean? Take so, it off because it's playing with my butt. Okay, yeah, I'm going to take that off because I don't want to hear that. But yeah, overall, it's a nice truck. I mean, I bought the truck with the full tank. It's a little under a half right now, and I put 282 miles already. I'm sure this tank is way bigger than the other one. Gonna put 30s on this one? We are gonna put 30s on this one. Uh, I just wanna enjoy it a little bit like that stock, you know, for a little bit after a couple of months or maybe maybe next month we'll put the 30s on. But for right now, I like the I like the stance. I like the the original look on it too. You know? You'll be out here for HPT? Yeah, yeah, April 2nd. So you do not wanna miss. That's the next big event that we got April 2nd. All only truck events. So we're gonna have burnout pit, truck car show, racing, cruising, you know, people, like to party you know so if you want to party if you want to see a bunch of trucks you know where to come April second houston raceway is going down if you want to reserve any spots which pretty much all the spots are taken right yes all, all crew reservations are sold out okay so if you want to be a sponsor you got to hit up the number the on the gas line you can find it on the gas uh, instagram and facebook there's a post there that has the phone number on there if you want further details of being a vendor or sponsor you can hit that number up and that person will be in contact with you and we said all crew reservations are, are sold out doesn't mean there's no more space there's plenty of free space for everybody else it's just there's there's certain premium spots that could be reserved and those unfortunately are already sold out don't worry we could fit everybody in there i mean for otm we fit 15,000 people so we fit everybody in there trust me so if you don't have a reserved spot you can still pull up and find a parking spot it's just kind of like the same thing when you go to a club you want a section in the front or table once everything's all the tables are sold out that don't mean you can't come in you can still come in you just got to find you a spot pretty much it's going to be in the back or on the side 15,000 people bro that's that's a lot of people to get it is a lot of people for HPT shootout, 
If you're stuck in traffic, just be patient. Eventually you get in. It's a hell of an event. April 2nd, mark the date. It's crunch time. It's around the corner. Get ready for that. The whole On The Gas team will be out there. We'll have some merch. We'll have everybody. You'll have some famous other YouTubers out there. Make sure you come out. We'll That's see right. you guys. We're about to pull up to the, where we at? Discount Hitch? Discount Hitch. I usually come over here and buy all the hitches. This is why I bought the hitch for the 2020 Denali, the 2020 giveaway that we got. I bought my hitch here too. They oh, hooked me up. You hooked me up. So we're going to baptize uh, the truck right now. This is for the regular, I think this is like a two and a half. I think this is the one that the Chevy has, the Denali. And I know the Ford has a bigger inlet. I think it's gonna be this one. This is a huge motherfucker right yeah. here. The dude was saying if we do direct like this one, we can actually tow more. If we put the adapter, we could tow less, like which is half. We're gonna end up going with this one right here. Because we do need it. We do, we, I mean, we don't haul that heavy stuff, do we? Sometimes. Two car hauler? The two car hauler, yeah, yeah, so we might need that. Maybe, or the 34 footer too. Right now my boy's gonna hook us up with one of these. And then we're gonna go and hook up to the trailer, pick up the Tudor Tahoe. Also, I'm working on my uh, my daily, yeah, one of my dailies. I've been having this truck for some quite some time now. And uh, I actually hit one of the trailers of the day and I fucked up the, the bumper. So I do wanna <laughs> repaint the whole bumper. The paint on the hood is coming off, so we gotta repaint the hood, paint the grill, paint the bumper. And I want to color match the handles because they're not painted. So we're going to be taking that truck to Lala right now. But first, first thing is first, we're going to buy the hitch and uh, one of these locks. So if you need any parts for your tow rig, come talk to Hector right here at Discount Hitch. Which one are we talking about, Hector? The BMW with a three inch receiver tube. It's got a weight rating of 21,500 on the two and five sixteen ball. What do you guys haul? Single car haulers, two car haulers, eight close. Yeah, this is doing the, this got the four inch drop so yeah this one says twenty one thousand pounds okay, on this one pounds. and if you look at the two and a half if you were to use a sleeve you only get fourteen thousand five hundred mm -hmm. so pretty much almost double yes that's heavy too bro okay <laughs> yeah, oh, okay, heavy so we are taking this one right here and also since we're already here we might be taking one for the gooseneck since we do have a gooseneck trailer that we Huh. That one's for a Dodge. He's gonna go to the back and see if they have one for a Ford. I need to buy a Hitch Ruperio's truck because I stole his. Well, I gave him one of mine and then I stole it back and now to my Disney one. So I'm gonna have to buy him a ball. See, typically, if your truck does not come with the gooseneck hitch, this is what they usually put under the bed and then the ball would just come out. But sometimes the trucks already do come with a uh, setting and this, all you gotta do is just put the ball. And these two little things and that's it so you're telling me you spent a hundred grand and they, they didn't give you a ball they gave me the main thing but not the ball <laughs> so there it is i mean if you want to go big dog and you get your diesel get you something to tow you're already spending 300 dollars on this just the hitch yeah. and then another 250 on the gooseneck hitch yeah, yeah. and a hundred thousand dollars on the diesel diesel life it ain't for everybody Man, what's 1300 a month <laughs> <laughs> here check it out so this one's 250. Here, let me show you the big difference. So this is the BMW one. So this one's a little bit more. This one's 320, right? Okay. The safety lock uh, mechanism for the chain. Okay. So oh, that's okay. how they go in. Okay. And let me show you the the Ford. So it's just about like the ease you wanna you wanna have when you're out there. Okay. Yeah, that's the one I have. That's the one I bought for the Denali. So this is yeah. to lock this one in. So it's gonna be like that. Yeah. Pull the pin and then the cotter pin. Which is better? This one. That one's better? So, yeah. so to take it out and like I said, this one, yeah, just put it and take it. So no pins. They both lock good? Yeah, they both lock good. Like I said, it's good. It's rated for 30,000. Both. Yeah, they're both rated for 30,000. The main difference is your gooseneck ball. When you're taking it out, you're going to have to touch the ball. It's going to be full of grease. So on the BMW, you don't. It's got the handle. Oh, okay, I got you. Uh, that type of thing. I, I currently have this one on the Nali. But they're both good though. Yeah, I'll take that one because I already have that one. Not having to use cotter pins. If this snaps your nail, it hurts. Yeah. So the, the B, B and W is this one. Or what? What is this? That's the Kirk. Which is? That one I showed you. Okay. Oh, okay, yeah. I'm pulling up taking everything, bro. Ya nos llevamos el de aquí. Hola, ya. It's a tiny monster. And a little turbo. What does it cost to put a gooseneck hitch on it? Uh, right now we're running a, a special January, February, $9.99, the plug in the gooseneck. So gooseneck and plug installed. Mm -hmm. Typically you do $1,050, so you get a $51 discount. Yes. All right, buddy, thank yeah, you. Appreciate you guys. Hard work. Hey, that hitch is pretty heavy, what, tiny? 
I'm a fucking heavy dog. It's heavy, but you know, people that go to the gym like we uh, Oh, he don't go to the gym. You know, damn right he don't go to the gym. Uh, it is heavy. I'm struggling, bro. Don't scratch my butt. <laughs> I gotta put these in because people be out here trifling, trying to steal. So like I said, this one already came with a hitch kit. I mean, with the gooseneck hitch, all we need is a ball. It's right here. So we're gonna be heading out, hooking up the trailer and go from there. There it is. The hitch worked fine. Trailer is locked and loaded. First, we're gonna be heading to Lalo's to drop off that truck right there. And then from there, we'll go to Roman, set up and pick up the two-door Tahoe. Come on, man. Oh, you gotta go put some air, huh? Air or a little bit of 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 los ponchó la llanta, pues ya tiene rato parqueado, so. a lo mejor se bajó, a lo mejor se la bajó con el frío, pero voy a levantar una troquita ahorita y ni tal que le echa aire, so we're right here at the local tire shop around just across the street from the on the gas shop, we usually come here for our, our needs, just because it's so practical, it's just right here around the corner, so we're gonna put a little bit of air on the tire, and then uh, be heading out to Lalo's, and then pick up the two-door Tahoe, man, I'm actually really excited about that Tahoe, because we, as soon as we bought that motherfucker, we took it to the setup and we dropped it off there. And it's been there for a while now, but I'm really excited to go finally pick it up, ride it around, and see how it feels. Like I said, when we bought that truck, we rode it for just maybe like a week. So uh, yeah. I'm excited about that. It's a nice day today. It's gonna be a really productive day today. You can tell the trailer's been through some shit. We used it so many times already. Yeah, for real. Yeah, we usually have another daily trailer that we use, but it's uh, it was on a wreck in the back. My boy Tito needs to, to fix it, uh, but it's in the back. But meanwhile, we use this one. We also got that other tilt trailer. Yeah, but that's a special occasion. Yeah, that's only when you, uh, that was a nice trailer, bro. We can't, yeah, you know. Yeah, yeah. We keep that one whenever we got to show out. That's what the wheels always coming in clutch. When we have issues with tires or we need tires on the wheels or anything, they're right across the street. They hook us up. Make sure you check them out if you're in a crunch and you need some tires, you need a plug, you need anything. Come holla at my boy, Fast Monkey. In and out, let's go. Hola, compa. How'd you like my truck? It's weird, bro. It's weird. You're weird, bro. So we bought the truck here to Lalo. Look, the paint's coming off. That's not cool. So the paint's coming off from the roof and the hood. Yeah, bring that. We're gonna need that. And I had one of the trailers in the back. So I fucked it up right there. And I fucked it up right there. Anyways, they had a couple of chips in the front, you know, that we need to get fixed. You know, give my 2006 Ford a little love. We are gonna paint, like I said, the roof, the hood, the grill, the bumper. And I also got some 22s with some 33s with my boy, 45 tires and wheels. After here, we're gonna go put the wheels and tires. I think this is gonna probably gonna take about a week. Let's go talk to Lalo. It looks like they repainted this hood when I bought it. I was already repainted because of the paint and they didn't do a very good job because you can clearly see the paint is coming off. What's up, Dom? Like we talked about it last time, we need to paint the roof. Porque se mira es pintado. Porque crees que se hizo así, güey? The clear coat's giving out. Giving out? Yeah. But then... Because it's old or what? Yeah, it's just old. So we need to paint the roof, the hood, grill, bumper. I hit a trailer the other day. Okay. It was tiny as fuck. Plástico nuevo, güey. I mean, si les falta plástico nuevo, si no pinta esos de nuevo. Como ves tú. And the fog lights, right? Yeah, fog lights abajo. And the handles. What about the, the front end? Just paint it black. Yeah, like matte black or shiny black? Sure, shiny black. Nah, nah, pero nah, we're just worried about the front, bro. This is the, the, the daily, so I'm gonna give a little bit of love on the daily, so we need to, we need to paint that. Oh, it's horrible. Okay. 
finally getting attention. Yeah, it's gonna get a little bit of love. Uh, we got some uh, 22s with 33s coming. With new front end, new paint and everything, it's gonna look a lot much better. Man, it's taken care of. Like, I think just what you said, the roof, the front end, the handles. Yeah, las handles pintadas para que haga match, yeah. I don't know what this is, güey. That's tough one. Eso ya lo abajo. Como estos antes eran cromados, yo creo que esta reacción se está metiendo la humedad y está saltando. Now we should worry about the handles. And handles, yeah, just that. This man had a cra crazy idea about roof racks, güey. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Le quiero poner una roof rack. Mm -hmm. ¿Qué roof rack le puedo poner ahí arriba? Like 2006, 2005. They sell them? Mm -hmm. New? I can yeah. get them new. Yeah, yeah. You want to put them on? Yeah, put them on. But you have to make a hole? You have to make a hole. You can't, no los puedes pegar. A lot of people double side tip them, but I'm not going to do that. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all can, but I don't want them flying off or something. They ain't going to fly off. No? Nah. Nah. I'm going to use the truck. Se las pongo con tape? Con tape. He goes yeah. from his house to the gym to the shop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. That's it. Besides right, that, disclaimer, I'm not responsible of you. It so it's on tape. It ain't, if it comes off, it's my fault. Besides that, I don't really use this truck because yeah. they jack these truck like a motherfucker. So if y'all see this truck somewhere right. in the north side, it ain't me. Call me. Let me know because it's stolen. <laughs> No, I take care of this truck. This is a, the truck that I take care of most of all of them because they jack these trucks and you will never find them because they use them for parts. This one's actually a 4x4, so they'll take the whole front end, the dash, the seats. Especially now, we're going to paint it, do all that, and then we put wheels and stuff, so I don't want y'all to jack my truck, so. Yeah, just double side of tape. Pégales ahí, pones silicone, no sé. No creo que se caigan con el chile, güey. We this truck and we can build perrillos trucks with all the parts. Yeah, but we're not going to do that. Buy them off the guy who stole it? Yeah, no. Yeah, buy them off the guy who stole it for perrillo. We're not going to do that. <laughs> So like I said, we're gonna paint it. We're gonna paint the roof, hood, grill, bumper, new plastics, new fogs. Paint the handles. Paint the back handle too. The tailgate handle and logo dale y las roof racks. Sí. Esas las pintas vienen con cromado o qué qué chau. Some already come like that, like the LTZ 4x4 yeah, ones. Yeah, yeah. The Z71s, they come like that with because the sport. Because they were que las hablas también venían así. Yeah. There you I'll go. send you a couple of pictures of what they have to offer. There's some uh, the black ones and some chrome ones, but I think the black ones will look right on this one. And I honestly think you should get rid of those steps. Nah, bro. Le da el pinche look, wey, de 4x4. See? We call this truck the Raptor, just because it looks like a Ford Raptor, but it's a Chevy version. If they would have made a Chevy version, Raptor would look like this. Like this, yeah. yeah. like this, just like this. Big tires, you know, the, um, the fenders, yeah, the flares, nice tire, little two bars, little steps. Just a perfect daily, bro. What you know about that? You, just because your daily is all fucked up. My daily will outrun this one any day. Oh, well, all right, it's a challenge. Once we come pick this one up, we're going we're gonna to see which I one pulls better. I want to see y'all race down this coming out. No, we're not going to race. We're going to pull, see which one pulls better. Oh, no, 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 it's 4x4. Four four. Right, right, yeah. <laughs> so we're going to be dropping off this truck. It'll be ready within a week, give or take. We're going to have. Yeah, we're going yeah, to have. So right now we're going to go pick up the Tudor Tahoe. I've been waiting for this day for a very long time. I'm ready, bro. Hey, bro, one thing, it seems like the four games taking over. My boy Pedro, look at this boy Pedro. Yeah, everybody. They're on special. All the four feet is on special. So you got one right there. We got another one, and then we got the Chevy Raptor right here. What you do? What did this one? Bell lighting? Uh, bell lighting. Okay. So this one is the same truck as mine, but this one's a platinum. From what we've seen right now, they come with the chrome handles, and uh, the mirrors were black, right? They the were caps. chrome. Oh, they were chrome. So yours come matched. Yeah, it's matched. That... And different interior, of course. This one has like a red, it's a badass interior. It's red, maroonish, or it kind of looks like a King Ranch interior. So, and mine's blue. Either way, my headliner, it's a gray too. It's the same truck, just different seats. And I mean, not, not much difference. Kind of weird. Yeah. They're bright, bro, blinding me. Uh, uh, crazy, crazy. Yeah. So there you go, we gotta go to the setup, let's go. Created authentic cap locks, your spam. Paper. Full of lint and in a scope with ruffles in my hand. Hi. Two rings, 80 bands, dripping Gucci, Dapper Dan. Got me fly like a kite, 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 like a kite. kite. Took off out of sight. I can see what you the think light. about this traffic right now? Horrible. Houston traffic sucks, but we, we got to do what we got to do. Do we have to pull the trailer out, get some air in it? I mean, go buy a hitch. Hopefully, we still got air. On the tire. Hopefully, hopefully we'll see. Then get to Romans, do all that. But look at this traffic. It's three o'clock, four o'clock. We're going three miles an hour. Zero right now. As we mentioned, HPT shootout is April second. For the trophies for HPT shootout, we're gonna do some checks. For Truck Nationals, our event, we did checks for the racing part. On the racing part, we're gonna give away checks for HPT shootout as well. For the show side, we're gonna do top 100. We got a special design for that trophy. If y'all come out to our shows before, if you received the trophy from one of the on the gas shows before, you know we don't cheap out on trophies, top of the line trophies. So if you're coming down here to race and you wanna get you a, a, a trophy, 
is gonna be a check. It's gonna be one of those big blown up checks. Probably all black, probably red. We don't know what color should we do with the check. Of course, a big fake check, but yeah, it's yeah. with money, of course, right? Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. It's a big fake check, and then we're gonna give you cash. Yeah. I mean, the check is just say, hey, you know what I mean? It's going to say you won what class, whatever. To put in your garage or... Yeah, yeah, to hang it up, you know what I mean? We like the checks idea. We used it for Chuck National. I think it's popping. So. I think people did like the checks. Yeah. We even got a check at the shop. We'll show you right now. Yeah, That's yeah, we check got a shop. check at the shop. So remember, April 2nd, all truck event. As you know, we host the biggest truck events in the world, pretty much. I mean, in the world. The other world, Craig. Not just the city, the world. We're the biggest. Period. Period. Numbers don't lie. Numbers don't lie. So April 2nd, you got all truck racing event, truck show, burnout pit, and just party zone. And racing. Racing. Yeah, yeah, everything, everything. So make sure you come out. Lock in that date and come out to HBC. Yeah, also we'll be having another truck nationals probably by the end of the year. People really liked it. The outcome was great. So, and people actually like the racing. We'll keep it strictly racing. Truck nationals 2022, probably by the end of the year when we have a little bit cooler weather because the trucks look like the cool weather. It's that boost weather. Right now we're stuck in traffic. We're just gonna ride it out and then go from here. I mean, the exit is right here, three quarters of a mile. Probably so, take us an hour to get there. Uh, probably gonna take us about 30 minutes to get there, but we're almost there. And uh, we'll show you guys what we're talking about. I don't fuck with niggas at all. Like some white folks. You crazy. I'm a psycho. I stop money, might go. Yo, pockets like bo. He hurt and get a medic. Pillow talking, that's pathetic. Might get drafted, I ain't sweating it. Pay my time. Hell yeah. Finally made it out here to the setup after a long ass traffic. Let's uh let's go inside and check out the truck. I'm ready, bro. Hell yeah, it's been long waiting. I'm ready, bro. It's been a long time. It's the moment y'all been waiting for. It's, it's finally here. I want to cruise it, bro. I want to see. I want to see how it drives. You know, because when we like I said when we bought the truck, we didn't we brought it straight here. We didn't even enjoy it. I fucked up. I should have just rode it for a little longer and then bring it over here. It's a different feeling when you got a big body like that just all the way to the ground creeping. It's different and we're here and they have everything shut down. It's like a big surprise. Get that VIP started right here. So, chilling right here my boy Tiny. My boy Tiny came out oh, finally. We dropped off the Tahoe, what, a couple months ago? Yeah, about four months ago. Four months ago. We ended up doing a full restoration on the suspension. It was outdated. We wanted something newer with uh, new valves and bags or whatever. I don't know what y'all you did. So what do all you did to the truck? Shit, let's start. Yeah, let's start off with the front. Redid the firewall. Redid the fenders. New upper, new lowers, new cups, new bags, new spindles. We did wheel wood brakes in the front, new brake lines. We relocated a whole bunch of stuff. Big brakes, yeah, we did a new battery, a new battery bracket. We relocated the jumper for the battery. New shocks, cleaned up the frame. Fixed the radiator, it was a, it was, had a little leak that it had, oh, apparently we didn't know about. And then going from there to the back, we did airlift management for the air ride. Yeah. New compressors, new leader hoses, all new wiring to that. All new pack 80, pressure switches, I mean the whole nine yards, all bags all the way around. We refreshed the rear end on it. All new seals, all new fluid, bearings, new U-joints, new brake lines for the rear, big brakes in the back. So pretty much we read back the whole truck. The whole thing. We did all new everything. The only thing we didn't do was the rear tusk, but we still had to modify all that and okay. make it late. Do, do the towels have a wishbone or is it just the two links? No, this one has a two link with the track bar. So basically instead when you go out, instead of the truck going sideways, you know with the track bar, yeah, with yeah. the pan hard bar, this one goes from the end of one link to the beginning of the other one. So you go all the way up, all the way down and that rear end will never shift. Never shift. Never okay. Yeah, never yeah, I was just wondering if it had a wishbone because typically they have the wishbone some trucks in. Bro, that was like 2001, bro. What you no, mean? they still yeah, use bro. them? They yeah, still no, use we them. Still, we still use them, but the thing is with that two door especially with the sheet metal that was already done on it there was no space for it bro no space at all like we did everything like under it we didn't mess with nothing in the back as far as the sheet metal but everything on the bottom is all completely redone everything yeah y'all want to check it out one? yeah let's check it out the moment y'all been waiting for we're here we're about to go inside and yeah, check out the truck you, you gonna open it up yeah, all right so we're gonna we're gonna do a little reveal so yeah. you know my, my heart is like doo -doo 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 -doo, you know what i mean so here it is yeah, hey Charlie was popping. Yeah. No. <laughs> yeah. 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 Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh, my God. Oh, hey. Hey. Look at this shit, bro. Those new wheels pop out too. Yeah. yeah, of course we got new wheels, big brakes. Look at the brakes on them. Look at that wheel wood brake pad right there. Bro, they're yeah. huge. Guys, they're stuck in there so hard you can't even see it. <laughs> it's huge. Oh, uh, we also we went inside, uh, vacuumed the whole thing. Everything under the hood's been clean. Whip excursion. Dope boy splurging. Yeah. Too much ice on it made her nervous. Damn. Flexing on purpose. Damn. Still smoking cushion, still drinking purple. Oh, uh, Whip a convertible. Oh. The only thing that Oh yeah. Damn. Aquitalas. Yeah, so 
You need to jump the truck? Yeah. Just pop these off. Shit. Real quick. Jump it right there. Yeah, because that's, that's, that's common at our shop. We always have to uh, battery dies all the time. Yeah, yeah, for so sure. So that's, that's common. You see these plates right here, too? So you, have, you don't have no more holes. Oh, okay. Remember, get down those factory holes see, there see, see, see. So we took all that off. Se platearon todo, so now you don't have no holes going in there. And it gives a reinforcement. It looks clean. We took all the other stuff from the firewall out, so apparently whoever's gonna do the body work or whatever, they'll have to cover all that up. Okay. But all the electrical stuff y'all had over there, we took all that out. We hit everything on the bottom. All this has been extended, redone, re -bloomed. I mean, everything. For future, is there a way we could put hinges on here? You can, but the brackets that we ordered, because of the tubs and the wheel being so big, they didn't fit right, right here. Right? Yeah. yeah. So that's what I was wondering. So I found another company that makes them a little bit shorter, okay. and they're supposed to get here like next week. Okay. okay. And we could just go to the shop and put, I got everything else here, we'll just go over there and put it on. Yeah, it already came like that. So this truck already came with these mirrors. The truck already had a sunroof and the racks. Man. Y'all wanna see the way it goes up there again? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Only thing that the streets respect is money and murder. Shooters jumping out in traffic. Yeah. Fuck it, let that nigga have it. Trapping in half fast. That bitch is talking nasty, bro. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah? It didn't lay like that before. No. No, we went in there and we modified a whole bunch of shit to get it go all the way down. I keep start laid out, well. This is gonna be. You're riding low, okay, and then you're cruising one. So right there, we're gonna push it twice, and the whole truck goes up by itself. Oh, he's not up. Okay. Yeah, I guess I better you push it twice, and the whole truck goes up. Oh, preset low. Hold on. I got. You gotta worry about. Oh man, did I pick it up from the bag, or did I do the front? You, you got it set at a certain setting. Bitch, but she classy uh, In the club smoking blunts back to back But my diamonds just dancing hey. Pull up in a different phone every day Bitch said you too fancy no. I told her no, you never seen shit like this Bitch, don't, don't panic. panic If you ain't from the streets and never had shit Then you won't understand me no. Trap nigga in the Dolce and Cabana Tuxedo at the Grammys Swear. In four days, smoked a whole 448 Grammys Damn. My jewelry box look like the ocean Water. My two liter raw with this pole You're driving straight, that motherfucker straight you're driving by yourself, push it twice. Bam. So the middle button twice and it, it settles it at there. Yeah, that's at right height. That's Which you right. could go lower, but like I said, we were trying to be safe. So this was gonna be cruising speed. I mean cruising, you know, like in the neighborhood, whatever. Push it twice. It goes up by itself. That's the turn. The yeah, that's the turn and everything. You wanna go back to the right lower? That's it. So this system, for some of you guys that are not familiar, obviously when you get big people like myself in there and you got a skinny guy on the other side, the truck on air suspension might lean a little bit. Sure. So the system right here, it automatically fills up one side with more air pressure so it stabilizes itself. Yeah. That's why you get that clean, smooth ride when you're going down the street. That's right. Yeah, you and know, Roman, like on the, on the 9906s too, like let's say you're turning a corner and back in the day, say, yeah. Yeah. well, you have four valves. You have a T, goes to the sides. So when you do it with this one, you don't have four valves. You have basically eight valves. On the manifold, it has six lines. Four go to each line, so there's no air transfer from one tire to the other. Nothing like that. This thing's. And when we brought this truck to you, I think it had corners, right? I think it had. Yeah, yeah, yeah it, has it still has corners. Yeah. I don't suggest you do it because of the, yeah, the no. suspension that it has. In the front, no problem. In the bag, it has a two link. But, you know, if you still wanted to say, fuck it, I'm gonna show how to do it. Yeah, okay. side to side. Side to side. Because we're in you know what I mean? We like to ride side to side sometimes. So you can do side to side, pick up the front by itself. Pick up the back by itself. Pop the back down. Where's, where's the battery? Under the bumper. So typically, let's say some someone wants to come in here and do a full bag job like this. Typically, how much does that cost? With everything that we did to it, let's say us including the sheet metal, airlift, and everything, you're looking at it like seventeen five eighteen. For okay. Everything. With the way that prices have gone up on metal, on airbags, we used to pay fifty dollars for airbags. They're like ninety bucks right now. Yeah. So everything went up almost double, especially metal. 
something like that, seventeen five eighteen for a tutor taco. Yeah. So there it is, eighteen thousand dollars if you want to bring your tutor taco and you want to lay this way. What about a regular truck? A uh, regular truck, we start them off at twelve. Twelve thousand. Yeah, twelve thousand. A little single cab, four door, same thing. Obviously, these these are a little bit more pricier because you got tub work in the back. So here it is, big brakes, new bag job all the way around, new wheels. Truck's looking really nice. So we have enough space back here for a sound system. That's for sure. Yeah, That's for sure. <laughs> we don't have a back seat, so we can't ride back here. No way. Acostado. Acostado. de lado. It's a two seater, we can't like a single cab. Yeah. Now, you, you can make something back there, but you better be sitting on the floor, bro. Your knees gonna be up. Yeah. So you can make a little seat. Uh, we did a K5 not too long ago that had the same setup, and they're doing a seat for it right now, but the seat's only about J big. Yeah, and the respaldo's on the actual doghouse. Two people is fine. And like we mentioned earlier, we're still undecisive on the color we're gonna paint this truck. Make sure you drop your comment down below and let us know what color you like. We go red, pink, purple, copper, or blue. Or keep it white. Keep it white. Candy blue. I was thinking about that pink, bro. I man, it's talking about that candy pink. Yeah. Pink. Oh, that big old fluorescent bright. Pink with yeah. the, with, cuando le pegas, I see, mira como purple. It flops to a purple. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I see that. It looks nice. The only thing about that, if we do like a crazy color, we'll have to remove all the trim and uh, we're, we like trims. That's a big problem we're going to have. Do you know where I could probably get a bumper that's like a C10 bumper for this one? Get that all shaved? Get the all smooth. Smooth. It, 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 work truck. For this? It's the work truck bumper. The only thing they do is they cut a plate on top mm -hmm. and they weld it all the way across. Mm -hmm. Body work it and it's all completely smooth. I'll send you a picture. I got it. Yeah. bumper custom, but it's a little more thin. Yeah. Yeah, you can do Well, even this one. Once you take this plastic off, you got about an inch to okay. go in. So it'll go in, you know, all the way up to here. Because if we paint it, if he paints it the exotic color, we're obviously not going to put no trims on there. It needs to be a smooth bumper yeah. and we want it kind of flush in there. And the C10 bumpers, they're smoother and thinner in there. They look more clean. I think it'll look more clean with us. So it has all new brake lines in the back, uh, stainless steel brake lines in the front. Don't slam on the brakes. That motherfucker stops, bro. No, well, uh, Fuck yeah. We repainted the frame. This shit right here was all handmade, like everything. Like we put it on the system. All this right here, we weld them. Okay. So that's the new U-boat holder. Uh, has oh, custom U-boats. For the yeah. knees. Yeah. So instead of having that big ass plate, yeah. we have this now. You know, it's just for maximum, I guess, support. Track bar, heim joints on the end. That way, if you ever want to pull it out, just take uh -huh. it off, twist it, put it back in, and it'll push it out. Stainless steel brake lines, uh, on your brake lines on the rear end. Uh, we stripped the rear end, painted it, painted the links, crossbar, gussets. All two. El tank allá de los miras. Tiene water trap. So every, I don't know, every like two, three months, y'all don't oh, use them a lot, but just mm -hmm. go under there, twist it, and it throws any water that the compressor might be throwing out. I got you. Uh, new compressors, another air tank over here. I see it. Yeah, new crossbar. We did new crossbars on top. Yeah, all the way. I mean, we did everything we possibly could to it. That's a uh, 26 by 10 reverse. It looks big, huh? This room looks real good with that, that, that setup right there. 26 10 reverse. Yeah, I like it. Yeah, I like the style. It fits great. the truck. Yeah. Hey, the paint's not that bad. It, it's really not, and it was just a one step. It was just a take the trash off, yeah. get it polished. I think, so, we should, I think we should leave it like this for HPT. For this to show it off. Well, we're going to trim it. Put it trim, put it loose. So people can see it at least. So this is the whole setup. That's the whole setup right there. Okay. So our links are like probably double that. Longer. Yeah, four times thicker. Everything. Even this, this was a get a schedule 60 I was here. like real thin. You can hear it. De buenas que no te subiste a la troca, wey, porque la quebras a la verga con estos mares. Neta. And that's where the links were mounted to. Mm. Bro, that thing was cracked, bro. It was hanging on by like an inch of weld. So if not, that link would have flew out, bro. Yeah, it's a good thing on a drive truck. So there it is guys, Tahoe came out really, really nice. It came out better than what I expected, but it took a little time, but it was done the right way. Like I said, we, we backed the whole truck, front to back, new bags, new lines, new suspension, new links, new brakes. We put big brakes, we put 16 inch brakes, along with brand new wheels, brand new tires. My boy Roman got down. So if you're looking for any kind of badass suspension done to your OBS, new body style, cat eyes, or whatever you got, Tudor Tahoes, whatever you got, bring it out here to set up. My boy Roman will get you straight. Right now we're fixing and loaded up. They chopped up the muffler because they did new links. So we're probably going to take it to Aces right now to my boy Rolando and put a quiet exhaust and then get some cinematics maybe today, maybe tomorrow. But uh, I can't 
way to cruise it. So right now we'll probably take it to the shop and then probably ride it to the muffin shop and then go from there. Look at that thing, that motherfucker nasty. Oh yeah. <laughs> Like it? it looks badass with the wheels in the back, it looks chopping. Yeah, chopping. So there it is, locked and loaded, ready to go. Like I said, if you need any kind of suspension work from OBSs, new body styles, if you wanna just cut your rear end, do a two, four drop, four, six, slam, body drop, full frame, about Roman, we'll get you straight. As you've seen, it takes a little while, but it's done, it gets done the right way, right? Oh yeah, for sure. It gets done the right way. So the truck is locked and loaded. We're gonna go to the muffler shop, put a muffler just so it can be a little bit more quiet, and then we're gonna get some rolling shots. You ready? Let's roll. Let's go. Listo. Ahora, compa. Ahí estamos al tiro como quiera. Lifetime warranty on everything that we touch, bro. There you go. I always remember that. That's why I come over here. White on white crime. Let's go. Stumbling down from the street, not the one in Manhattan. If you know my man's habits, you would know we back at it. Hit my ball, ash in the water, call it bed, let it. Got some new hollow tips, no hollow, then I bed have it. Plus, I got a big habit. Under my seat, I got a piece, sickle, and a hatchet. Wooden clubs, keep my girl on my case. We never scared on So we made it to the... Ace shop, like I said, we're bringing the two-door Tahoe to put an exhaust because they had cut out the links. When they did the links on the truck, the suspension, they had cut out the muffler, so they didn't put no muffler. So the, the truck is pretty loud right now. We are going to be putting a muffler just so it can be a little bit more quiet because it sounds like it doesn't it don't sound right. Also, who's joining us is my boy Perrillo. All the way up the gas. You know, I gotta wear the drip. There you go. There you go. Let's go talk to Rolando and see what kind of muffler we're gonna put on this truck. We got a new project. We got a Tahoe that I need a muffler, so that's over there. It's on the side. You remember how to drive it back to Hey, it's been a minute. <laughs> And then just run a pipe over here and then dump it back on. Yeah, that's pretty much all I want. Yeah. We can do that. And that's the smallest muffler you got, right? No, we got smaller. Uh, I, I just, I mean, you said you want it pretty quiet, so yeah. that's the big, that's the quietest one that I can put on there pretty much. Find the flow. Le puedo poner una bala, uh, a carbon, a uh, black widow. No, all that stuff is loud. Yeah, no, I don't want it that loud. The next thing would be the Magnaflow bullet or maybe a Borla XR1. But Borla. the XR1, I'd put it right here. Uh, or I can do the Borla Pro XS, it's like that, if you want Borla. Is it loud? Well, I mean, the bullet that you have my more convenient because it's smaller, but then but that means it was going to be mean, loud. The other one's fine right here. I can make it work. It's, it'll be at a slight angle. Yeah. Just, as long as it don't come lower than here because it's no, going to be on the floor. It'll, it'll be a small angle going like that, but it, it'll work. I can fit it right here. If I could fit it, I'd go with that one. This one? Yeah. I mean, if you can fit that one, you don't put it in boiler X or what, but it's not going to be too loud. It's going to be loud. It's going to be loud. Yeah, <laughs> you don't want it Fuck too loud. That. So just run this one. I'll run the pipe as far back as I can. Just, I mean, you so can dump it right here, yeah. Well, I, I'd like to dump it over here to just keep the bottom oh, dust in the wheel. It makes oh. it harder to clean. Yeah, well, the thing is, all this goes up and down. Yeah. All of this goes up and down. Okay, right. So then just dump it right here. Yeah. yeah. Now, this episode oh, is sponsored by Aces. 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 So hook us up with this magnet flow. Mm -hmm. Supposedly, it's quiet. 
Like I said, we don't want nothing too loud because it's a show truck. Eventually, we're going to put a sound system on it, so we don't want nothing too loud. So, we're going to install this one. We're going to get out the way so the guys can do their work. Trying to get over here, bro. Don't be on the way. You're a big dude, too. I'm about to start welding up in there. Yeah. All right, so we ended up putting a magnet flow. Sounds really good. It's quiet. Ready? I'm ready. Let's go. Let's go back to the shop, man. I forgot my hoodie. It's cold. Chilly. You over here all buzzed down and shit. It sounds way better now. For sure. So we back to the shop. We just did the exhaust on the Tudor Tahoe. Sounds really good. Sounds really clean. Today's a full day of surprises. Today's been a good day, Tiny. Today has been a good day. Good productive day, too. Productive day. Not only that, so it was a really exciting day because we picked up the two-door Tahoe today. But my boy Franco from Riceline put up today with some wheels. Yes, sir. For what? For the Can-Am. There you go. Little wheels. So I'm not going to show you guys just yet, but we ordered these wheels, what, a couple months ago? Right after OTM. So we decided to go... 24 by 12s all the way around. We're gonna be putting a low profile tire on the Canem and we're also gonna drop it a little bit. Kind of like the one y'all took to LST. Yeah, like yeah. last year. That yeah. one was on, on 20s. The, the yeah. 20s, so we're doing the same thing, but we're doing- 24. 24 by 12s. 24. Yeah, yeah. On a four door. And oh. if we get to 200,000, you're gonna give them away with the 24? I'm gonna give away the Canem with these wheels. Uh -huh. What you think? Ooh, it's gonna be sick. <laughs> I don't want I don't want to give it away no more. Like always, my boy Franco, for your race line needs, for your wheel needs, make sure you hit him up on Instagram. How do they find you, bro? Just those classics on Instagram, that's it. And if you're looking for some race line wheels or any type of wheels, my man can hook you up. This one is the newest one we got. Okay. This one's called Tumblr. Tumblr. Yeah. So then, are you ready? Scorpio. That's good, bro. So here it is. Max lip. Max lip. We got them five lug. Five lug. So if you want, you can put them on an OPS, OBS. four by four. What, lip what lip, are we whatever. using? We're using adapters, right? We're using adapters. Some billet adapters. Okay. Four. So from four to five. There you go. Yep. And these are made for the Canon, right? They're made for the Canon. Okay. There you go. So we put these behind the wheel, tie them down, and then we could just put them on the Canon. So this adapter right here, it's a quick bolt on? Yeah. Quick, quick bolt. Pero el bolt y luego le quitas esto, va. Yeah, we you take these off. Okay. And then those four bolts están por dentro. Sí. These right here. Put that one on. Y Extra luego. security. Put these on so that it doesn't come off. This piece goes to the can Yeah. Then you bolt this to the piece that goes to the can yeah. right here. And then the wheels go to this. Yeah. yeah. There you go. Okay. And that's the way we could stunt right here. Uh, this is, yeah. this and we is, can this always take these off and put them on an OBS truck. You ordered them for five lug five OBS. Lug. OBS, yeah. Just in case you want to sw swap them out. Or, I mean, it looks like they're going to be on the Canon for a while. because It'll fit on there, no? It'll fit on the back. I don't know about the front. We <laughs> have to lift it all the way. But these wheels are going on the Canon, which is right over there. And we are going to be dropping it. These are aluminum wheels, so they don't weigh much. Dang, this is a big wheel for a Canon, bro. There you go. I mean, guys. What is this finish right here, bro? That's a dark texture gray. Okay, dark, okay. I mean, it's not like it's going to get dirty because we don't true. usually put them in. No, we don't put the... the, the polishing. Yeah, let's polish it. Not only that, but we don't really use the Canon for the dirt. We use it mainly for the car shows. I saw this wheel. I told my boy Franco we need to go with this style. And uh, he got us right. So if you need any wheels, you know who to hit up. If you need any race line, you do... You do billets, you do uh, heavy duty wheels. Heavy duty wheels, fours, trailer wheels. Also, all, all our trailers are with race lines. So if you watched our channel before, this face is familiar because my boy always hooks up with wheels <laughs> yeah, yeah. for the trailers. And now he's hooking us up with some wheels for the can -Am, So we can't wait to put them on. What about golf carts? You do golf cart wheels? Yeah, that's what I was going to tell you about. There you go. We do we golf cart wheels. Okay, size one, this one. These look like little 10s, 12s. 
No, they tens. I bought them from somebody, but they ten, they they nice though. So tens. 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 Two or five fifty ten. We make four tens. But a yanta? Yeah. We might need some. <laughs> we make four tens for them. Yeah, we're gonna need some tires. We're gonna need some wheels for the cannon for sure. I like these wheels. They actually look like like a good classic wheel. It looks it looks like something that will go on a nice C10 as well. A nice OBS. I like this wheel. It looks real good. They actually got the, the first set in 24. Really? Yep. Yeah. Estos. So 24 by 12s all around. All the way around. This is a 24 by 12 reverse? No. no regular. Mac. Regular. regular. So it has a four inch back space. Okay. We're doing what? 355s? We're doing 355, 25, 24. <laughs> All right, everybody. Well, that's it. Shout out to my boys at Raceline Franco. Shout out to my boy Aces that hooked us up with the badass muffler for the truck. It's really, really quiet, just the way I wanted it. Shout out to Roman at the setup. Did an awesome job on the two-door Tahoe. Bright, smooth, big brakes, looks badass. Overall, really productive day. Make sure you hit the like button, the subscribe button, and the bell notification for that fire content we got coming up. That's it for today.